regards to football is no full full sport contact football, full gear stuff. So outside of that, the protocols that you've seen uh, are recommendations. They're not mandates. Uh, now it's up to the, the local education uh, agency to, um, to, to take care of whatever they want to put into place. The wait is as over as it can be for high school football here in the month of June as teams can begin practicing on Monday. Brian Aldridge caught up with coaches all across Acadiana to find out what they're planning to do to keep players safe. She says even with restrictions, though, coaches are excited and happy to see players coming back. Uncomfortable, to say the least. It's uncomfortable. Um, it's a new norm that we have to get uh, accustomed to. After nearly three months away from the field in the weight room, the LCA Knights are ready to reunite Monday. However, things might look a bit different following the LHSAA guidelines. So we'll take the temperature of the kids as soon as they get here. If they're over 100.4, then we'll retake it in five minutes. If they're still high, then we'll send them home. State mandates and guidelines will limit group sizes and contact as schools look to protect students. So water fountains have been unplugged and covered. Um, you won't be able to use anything that anybody else put their hands on, you won't follow up and put your hands on that same water bottle, water jug, or even weights in the weight room. Even with restrictions, a return to football is still exciting teams. In Acadia Parish, IOTA's head coach, Josh Andrus, says his players are ready to get back to business. You know, some of them, this is all they do is football. So uh, they got cut short on their spring, a little bit on the summer, so uh, they ready to get after it. The biggest adjustment the Bulldogs have to make is finding ways to ensure that the small groups still get a full workout in, but in less time. And so now we got our groups of 22 guys separated over uh, in 40 minute sections. So we're starting at 6, 6.40, 7.20, 8 o'clock uh, and so forth. Adjustments that will become the new norm with repetition. We can work out the kinks in week one and I think the kids will be more accustomed to it week two to where all the kinks will be worked out. In Lafayette, I'm Brianna Aldridge, KTC Sports.